Well, hello folks. I'm going to make my very first video today. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm into a lot of different hobbies. And I thought to myself, why not? Why not go ahead and give it a shot and make you a video and post it and just see what kind of reaction to that you get from this particular video. And if it's, a, and if it's good, then I will make uh, other videos. Again, I'm into a lot of different things. I'm into motorcycling, I'm into hunting, I'm into fishing. I'm into shooting guns, uh, you name it, I'm into it. Uh, in terms of shooting guns, I can make gun videos of uh, pistol shooting, shotgun, rifle, so forth and so on. Um, I'm, today's video though is basically gonna be something that I haven't done in a long time and I used to love doing it. Uh, back years ago growing up, I used to motocross or race uh, dirt bikes and then I kind of gravitated into trail riding and then back in the early 2000s I sold off all my dirt bikes and me and my wife got into street riding and we, we're still doing that today. In fact I'll do a video on uh, my street bike uh, later on if you guys like the video of this dirt bike. Uh, so uh, y'all just let me know okay you can do that through the comment section off on this on this particular video. But anyhow, that's not what this video is about today in terms of my street bike. Today, this video is about a little dirt bike I just purchased, and I want to do a quick review, and uh, if we get a chance to, we'll run it around the yard, and you can kind of hear it, and uh, uh, I'm really surprised and amazed at the power this little dirt bike has. And uh, it is a Chinese-made aftermarket dirt bike, and I'll give you my reasons why I went that route to purchase one of these instead of going back to uh, the Yamahas that I used to race and uh, ride. Uh, basically when I raced, I was racing Suzuki RMs, but uh, I did have Yamahas and I did have a, a little old Kawasaki KX that I used to ride a lot. But today, uh, this video is concerning a little Chinese aftermarket aftermarket dirt bike that I just recently purchased. And again, as I walk around, I'll explain the reasons why I purchased this particular bike, okay? Hang on just a second, I'm gonna flip this camera. And there she is. It's called a Moto S, it is a 250cc. Uh, the thought was to go with the 250cc because a couple of buddies of mine told me that they were gonna get back into some trail riding and, and I just wanted something that I could just kind of stretch out on the trail. Originally, when I was looking, I was looking at the 125s. They, uh, I know on YouTube, some of them guys label them as pit bikes. And I'm gonna tell you, they they pretty decent little old bikes in terms of looks. Now, I don't know really how they run, but I can vouch for this bike. Uh, I seen this bike at one of the local dealerships. Uh, this was not a bike that I ordered. It was already put together and I went up to the dealership. I looked at it, I liked it and I decided I would purchase this bike and bring it home. And I'm glad I did. I'm enjoying it. I took it around the yard a couple of times and uh, it's got amazing power. I was really impressed by the power this particular motorcycle has. Uh, in fact, I was out riding it yesterday and uh, uh, I was bringing the front end off the ground from first to second, not sitting still and popping the clutch in first gear literally from first to second. So I was really impressed with the power that it has. So uh, without further ado, this is it. Uh, I chose the one with the light on the front. Now from my understanding, you can get these with or without the light or some of them will come and you can choose uh, when you put them together, just put the, the number plate or you can install the light. Well, my particular one actually has the light. Uh, it does work and it is pretty bright at nighttime. Uh, this particular bike here has, uh, uh, I think it was listed in the specs as having 16 and a half horsepower, which is plenty of horsepower for me. Uh, it's got really good pulling power. I've got some hills out here, and yesterday I was just playing around and I started at the base of a little hill and it just crawled right up it like it wasn't nothing. So that's something that, that I was really pleased with. I was really surprised at the power this particular bike's got. Now, one thing about this particular motorcycle, I don't know on the other Chinese motorcycles that people actually own, uh, or the Chinese made motorcycles, excuse me, but this near is pretty cold natured. Uh, you definitely have to choke it. Now this motorcycle here does have a kick start and it's also electric start. And thank goodness it's electric start. I have kick started it 
it's got pretty high compression and i'm just not as young as i used to be so uh i just i'm just really pleased that it has an electric start so without further ado i'm not going to choke it i'm just going to see if she'll fire right off and uh i want you guys to hear it and then uh once uh once we hear it and get it warmed up then i'm gonna run it around the yard okay so y'all just hang tight just for a second It was 
once it's warmed up, it idles really, really good. It really does. Another thing that I really like about this motorcycle, and I did adjust the clutch a little bit, because uh, once it warmed up, you couldn't find neutral. So one thing I really, really enjoy about this little motorcycle now that I've idled it up and adjusted that clutch, it's very easy to find neutral. Um, and again, it's got a really good sound. I mean, everything on this bike is stock. guys for uh, watching this video and uh, if you like this particular video then just hit the like button um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to make me a channel and maybe make some more videos up the road but anyhow my very first video I just wanted to start off with uh, my new purchase of this Chinese made dirt bike <coughs> so uh, again y'all just let me know what you think about this video okay it's my very first one so so uh, i know i probably screwed a few things up but anyhow it is what it is okay y'all take care of yourself and god bless you